This was the planet Alcyon 400 years ago. Alcyon has always been home to two peoples, the Sevians and the Storians, two cultures that have clashed for ages, bringing war and destruction to this once peaceful world. It is said that the wars caused Alcyon to defend itself by unleashing terrible disasters upon all of its inhabitants. Most of the planet's life was wiped out. There were few survivors. But there was hope. Her name was Amiel, a mysterious Sevian priestess. The Storians doubt her existence. The Sevians pray for it. Amiel helped the Sevians to construct one last great sanctuary meant to leave this doomed planet forever. A gigantic domed city carried upon the back of a huge robotic god, the Ark. The Sevians did not occupy it for long. The Storians attacked and seized the Ark, and the Sevians were expelled to the wastelands. Amiel disappeared and the Storians, unable to control their new home, found their refuge had become a prison. A century later, the Storian armies still searched the wastelands for the missing priestess, and the Ark remains still, waiting. Quadrant 4. Sevian activities suspected. Unit 75, please investigate. We're on it. There's nothing out here. No Sevians. Nothing. Well, they picked up something. Better go check it out. What is this? Sevian hibernation pods. Heard about these and never actually seen one. They're all children. <laughs> Great. What are we supposed to do? Spend the next three days working with transport? I wonder how long they've been here. Burke's right, sir. We don't have enough room to take them all back. We'll have to send for support. Got too many damn Sevians in the dark as it is. No! We call for backup. My hero. What do you want to save them for? They're just kids. Look, we have to call for extra transport, sir. We can't just... can't just leave them out here in the desert. And what do you think they're gonna do when they grow up? Blow us kisses? Transport would take too much time and energy. Our resources are best used elsewhere. Burke's right, John. These kids are of no use to us. But, sir, you can't...
Holster your weapon, I said enough! <clears throat> Jalik, that was stupid. Insubordination, you're looking at a court martial, but murder? Highness, we're in great danger. The Ark is no more than a prison now. I fear it'll never leave the planet. And those of us left inside. <laughs> the Storian people have survived all previous disasters. Somehow I don't see immediate annihilation on our agenda. And you've said this before, and been wrong. But we got lucky last time. Temperatures shifted. But our luck won't last. We were never meant to stay here. Your Highness. The seismic activity beneath the planet's crust is reaching catastrophic levels. It won't be long before our planet will split in two. If what you say is true, then I assure you this monarchy will not sit idly by and do nothing. I've commissioned a team of engineers to begin drafting plans for a smaller vessel. One which will be able to accommodate the nobility and upper classes. Have those plans destroyed immediately! Can you imagine the rioting if those were ever to leak out? Furthermore, if you are proposing that I abandon our people, then you are treading on very dangerous ground indeed. Ours is a society whose greatness has always been based on solidarity. Respectfully, Your Highness. Ours is a society whose greatness was also founded upon violence.
Okay, listen up. We're gonna create a diversion. You head up the alley, then double back. Here's the disc. Protect it at all costs. Got it. Okay, everyone, let's move! They got Watkins, then I got them. Some little rebel bastards. Ah, oh, and I found this, too. One of them was trying to get away with it, but I saw him, yeah. so... Yeah, I got the picture. Get this over to Intel right away. If there's data on this, tell them to transmit it back to the dark immediately. There's a sniper! Freaking out. Freaking out. The computer, the lights, June. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, sounds like another one of your teen dreams. No, it wasn't a dream. It, it was real. Like, maybe there was a short or, or a blown fuse. Maybe it happened throughout the sector. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if anything in the Ark worked the way it was supposed to, wouldn't it? Tell me about it. So, how are things out there? Uh, the usual. You need more Sevians, right? I don't get it. I, I thought the Sevians helped build the Ark. Shouldn't we be working with them instead of keeping them as slaves? We should. But the reality is, the story in Empire has always had more weapons, more soldiers, and more power. I mean, it's just the way things are. Hey, at least things are better for the Sevians in the dark than they are out here in the wastelands. Infinitely better. So you're saying that it's better to be a slave in here than a free man out there? Look, I tell you what, I'll... I'll I'll be home soon, and I was, uh, I was thinking I'd take you up to see the dome. <laughs> really? Wait, the dome's forbidden, right? Uh, but wait, I'm the commander, right? I miss you, honey. And I'll be back soon. But do me a favor, I don't want you leaving the house, okay? But I... Just wait till I get back. Love you. Amanda, tell me now what Dr. Anders plans to do about my city. Dr. Anders is Ladark's finest scientist. And the reactivation of Ladark is not something we find at all frivolous. Well, it's starting to seem that way. Trust me, her attentions to the matter are tireless. In fact, we're running another mobility test on the Ark today. See if we can get the thing moving. Minister Isabus has informed me that if the conditions beneath us continue to worsen, this planet will crack in too. Tell me again why I appointed you. This data just arrived from the field. It was recovered from a skirmish with the rebels. Is this what I think it is? Send for Commander Chalak. Attention citizens of the dark. 
There will be a brief mobility test in the arc, commencing in 10 seconds. Please be alert and exercise caution. Okay, people, let's do this. Quadrant C, I want those outputs at full capacity. Universal torque on those joints. Today is the day, people, I can feel it. Higgins, keep an eye on those turbine levels. Right. We don't want them to blow again. Anders, that's it. We couldn't even get it to take a step. Damn operating system just goes on full steam for all of two minutes, then just rolls over and goes to sleep. All right, I want readings on every single panel, gauge, and console. Let's see if we can't get it up again. This damn thing just doesn't want to work. I know it's just a software problem. Keeps the city running, manages the power just fine. The only thing it can't do, apparently, is get the Ark to move. So maybe it is Amiel, then. No, Higgins, not the Amiel thing again. Amiel is a myth. She doesn't exist. Look, I don't doubt that there was once a Sevian priestess named Amiel who helped construct the Ark. What I don't believe is that she's still alive and waiting to come pilot this thing. Well... Supposedly, Amiel died a hundred years ago, and the Ark hasn't moved in just about a hundred years. You're not at least open to the idea that Amiel's disappearance has something to do with that? The Ark is a machine. No more, no less. Machines can be fixed. I've only been at it for five years, so I'm not giving up. Attention citizens of the great city in the dark. Please stand back. sees you screwing around, he's gonna wreck you. Hey, you look kind of thirsty after your long trip. What are you doing, Gom? Man needs a drink, I'm just helping him out. Back off. You can't give the guy oil. Oh, he'll be fine. Come on now, open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a drink if you've been out in the dust and smoke, right? Oh, cut it out! Just go get help! Now you're all greased up for something else I got for you. Come on, Gom. Enough. Let's go. No, I ain't done yet. Gom, no! What do we need these animals in the city for anyway? I figure we're doing us a favor. Any last words before I blow your head off? Ow! Ah! Little rubber. <laughs>
What are you doing here? Did you see anything? You could have gotten killed today. I'm 18. You think you can keep me hidden away in the house forever? As long as we are in this city, yes. Listen, Amaranth, sweetheart, it's not safe here. Everything we know is about to change. For the better? Have I interrupted something? Baramanda. I know it's not often you see me outside the confines of the palace. You'll find that my news warrants such a visit, though. Hello. And you are... Amaranth. I'm his daughter. Daughter? Jalik, she's beautiful. Thank you. Look, Puriel's going to take you home now. And then you stay put until I get back. Clear? Remember when I used to come over and watch you? What was that game we played? Stop trying to cheer me up. Shouldn't you be out arresting Sevians for breathing or something? Oh, where did that come from? I just don't think what we've done to them is right, Puriel. They're no different than us. They are us. <laughs> Sounding pretty militant there. Well, there's a reason why they've been our slaves for centuries. Yeah, we're stronger. Meaner. It goes far beyond strength. It's the natural order of things. I don't believe. After all these years. I take it expedition plans are underway. Well underway. You're leaving tonight. I just got back. I, I should head home first, spend some time with my daughter. I'm sorry there's no time. You have to leave immediately. If you like, though, I'll check up on her while you're gone. Thanks. But she'll be fine. Very well, then. Jalik, we've waited our whole lives for this. You can't be this miserable. No, it's just surprising development, that's all. This is Commander Jalik, ready for departure. Stand by in three, two, one. No use in playing coy. We already have a general idea of where she is. What I'm looking for are specifics. So I'll simply ask one more time. Hmm? Where is the body of Amiel being kept? There is no body. Amiel is just a legend. As you know, our once fair planet has had quite a bit of difficulty in supporting life as of late. And so, like us, other creatures have had to adapt. Take these cenobarbs, for instance. With the disruption of the food chain, their jaws and digestive tracts were no longer used as frequently, and so other means of obtaining nourishment became necessary. I found a nest of them years ago. I've been raising them ever since. It was amazing to watch how these little creatures had adapted. They no longer consume the flesh of their prey for energy, but feed directly upon the life force itself. No! Wait! I'll tell you! I mean, she's the sanctum in the ruins north of April. I'll never tire of how good this feels.
doing in here? I think I may know. John, an opening. Everyone, be on guard. Have you ever seen anything like it? Once. It's her, isn't it? Yes, Amia, the Holy Lady of the Ark. We all believe that one day she will return and deliver us all. But how do we know that Amiel isn't a false messiah? One perpetuated by our leaders to give us false hope! Funny what people will say. You. Sorry, did I startle you? I notice he hasn't mentioned the people that live even further below. You mean the slaves? You're a subhuman, aren't you? I saw you at the causeway. There's soldiers all over the sector looking for you. You know that. Yeah, I've seen her. What I want to know is, what are you doing here? You don't exactly look to be one of the disgruntled masses. Disperse from the area immediately. Return to your home. All citizens are to disperse. Wait, where are you going? Away from here. You're hurt, and they're after you. You need somewhere to go, right? Follow me. Why would I trust you? You're a story. Look at me. You know you can trust me. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of hibernation pod? No, it's not a hibernation pod. I don't think she's asleep. Jalik. You know who she looks like? Let's get back up to the surface and start making preparations to get her out of here. Come on. Not now. This happen often? Not really. Well, this whole city is screwed up. Things have been acting really goofy around here lately. Sometimes I think it's me, you know? Like, Maybe I have some weird bioelectric field that messes with all the circuits around me. And what kind of medication did you <laughs> say they have you on? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> Told you. I'm starting to think it's me. You want to hold him? Yeah. His name's Jejun. Wow. God. That's beautiful. You think? If it came from where I did, you'd appreciate what I'm seeing. So you're from out there? I grew up hearing stories about how evil this place was inside the dark. And here I am. Wishing I lived here. Tell me about the wastelands. <laughs> What's to tell? Blinding sun, poisonous gases. But besides that, it's a hell of a place to live. Still, not as bad as being a slave. I know that. Funny. For a Storian, you sure have an open mind. Sevian, Storian, we're all the same, aren't we? Flesh and blood. The Sevians built the Ark. We should all be sharing it, not beating each other senseless over it. <sighs> oh, let me get some stuff to clean you up with. 
I'll be right back. Decades of waiting, and now we're here with Amiel. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. Amiel's discovery, it, it hasn't been announced to the public, has it? No. no. The Sevians in the slave quarter would be sure to revolt. And the rest of the city, they'd all be at the plaza trying to get in for a look at her. If these tests do produce results, we'll have to begin final preparations to leave the planet at long last. All teams stand by. Commencing initial testing phase now. That's it? All that and nothing? This was only our initial attempt, Your Highness. We'll need some time. Time is something we do not have. <clears throat> those are those plans you spoke of. Getting us out of here. You haven't disposed of them yet, have you? Uh, there was another legend of someone else who could pilot the Ark. A daughter. Amiel's daughter. I've heard that too, but I've never believed it. If Amiel had a daughter, we'd have known about her. Even if she did, she's probably also long dead. Possibly, but yet the Sevians have been known to hide their young in hibernation pods out in the city. So this legendary daughter might still exist. Your Highness, if I may, the chance of that is slim at best. We could do some blood and tissue sampling from Amiel's body and run them against biodata of all the registered Sevian female slaves. For what? To waste more time? If this daughter ever actually existed, Your Highness, which I doubt with all due respect. Nevertheless, Jalik, it's worth a try, if it's as easy as Dr. Anders suggests. Uh, perhaps a larger search of all the females in the dark might be in order. I've heard that some of our wealthier Storian families have taken in Sevian girls as both house servants and as adopted children. Jejun, come! Jejun! It appears we have a match. Let's see who the lucky winner is. That's Amarith. This is the girl. You know this girl, Lieutenant? The girl is Commander Jalik's daughter. His adopted daughter, it would appear. I'm afraid I don't understand, Commander. There's a lot to still be determined, Empress. Some questions about a botched raid years ago on a Sevian outpost. I took the liberty of investigating your files, Commander, as it seems that your devotion to our city has been slipping of late. 
It seems it's never been entirely secure to begin with. Guards, place this man under arrest. Yes, Your Majesty. Move. I'll get the girl. I thought you were gone, Jejun. Oh, no. Amrith saved me. Uh -huh. Amrith, my hero. Oh, eee. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think you'd be home, so we just let ourselves in. What? What are you doing here? Where's my father? Your father has been arrested for treason. I'm sorry. <gasps> Stay away from me. Stay away. Amaranth, I want to help. I've known Jalik for 25 years. I will always help him. I will always help his family. You have my word. No good, no good. It's not every day we find a celebrity in our midst, much less a relative of Amiel's. You will need me. What are you talking about? Celebrity? Amiel? I guess your father, your adoptive father, that is, kept as much from you as he did us. You're lying. You know I'm not. Now come with me. We can do a lot of good things together. You just have to trust me. Let. Her. Go. You're not going to kill what you came here for. Let's go. She's on the run. Send all units in pursuit. We have to get off the street. Steal a hex again? You're out of your mind. Again, so much. Do you know how to work this thing? Uh, let's see. Not at all. You? Uh, how do you feel about no? <laughs>
Should be safe here for now. Oh, safe. This whole area is supposed to be forbidden to all of us. Forbidden? My dad, he was going to bring me. My father. <laughs> Armando said my father's in prison and that he lied in this stuff about M.E.O. And it really is you. What do you mean? Who are you, anyway? I'm a Sevian. You know that. And, well, so are you. What are you saying? You know he's not your real father, don't you? Yeah. He found me when I was little, during a sleigh ride in the lower sectors. Okay, so that's what he told you, but... Is that how you remember it? It was so long ago. I'm not sure. I don't know what he told you, but that stuff about Emiel? Well, she did exist. And she did have a daughter. And... I think it might be you. What? You're out of your mind. Me, Emiel's daughter? Look, I know the stories. About how Emiel had built the Ark for the Sevians and was supposed to pilot it off the planet and leave the Storians here to die. That's not true, though. She built that Ark to save all of us. All of us. But then the Storian armies attacked. They were greedy. They took the Ark, and Amiel disappeared. Yeah, everyone knows that story. Yeah, but not many people know the story about Amiel's daughter, who was taken inside the Dark years ago. Her lost daughter. The one who would eventually pilot the Ark after Amiel. Oh, so now I'm a pilot, too? I wouldn't expect you to believe it right away. But if you think about it, you know it's true. Face it, you're a goddess. Uh, there are a lot of people who've been waiting a long time for you, Amaranth. A long time? I'm 18. I've probably been out of my own sector. And now I'm supposed to save a whole city? I barely saved us. This is ridiculous. Pilot Ladark? No way. It's not this arc you have to pilot. 
She escaped with the Sevian rubble. The fugitive. How did that happen? Something's going on. Is she all right? I guess so. They took out an entire city block. Now they're missing. Look, Puriel. I'm sorry I never told you about her. But please, she's all I have left. And she's in danger. I've looked up to you since even before I joined the service. And Amaranth? Well, she's been like my little sister. But you're right. She is all you have now. You don't have me anymore. And Amaranth, she belongs to the story and people. And you've turned your back on them. On me, too. have been dead for ages, yet they're virtually intact. I've never seen anything like... Higgins, look at these readings! So, the priestesses were a uh, bloodline. You don't believe in superstition. <laughs> I don't. But, those cells display a vitality, a life force unlike anything I've ever seen. <sighs> Imagine what the daughter's blood could produce. Just one drop of blood. It's okay, Umada. It's me, Rogan. Hey, Rogan. He's been expecting you. Amaranth, this is Umada. He can help you. Uh, stand in the light. Let's get a better look at you. By the gods. As if seeing Amiel herself. I don't believe it. Bubo! Umada! Bubo? I lost this bird years ago. Bubo, did you miss me? Miss Umada, not being called Bubo. Ooh. <laughs> he seems to like it here, doesn't he? The quarter is swarming with troops. We have to begin quickly. Begin what? To get you back to the Ark of York. You've got to complete the work your mother... She never got the chance to finish what she started. Can't you see? Your feelings about the Sevians, your bioelectric field, it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Nothing makes sense right now. Bubo, my little friend. Shall we give Amaranth a little history lesson? Your real mother was Amiel. She built the Ark of Ladakh. You're part of a great bloodline, a technology and science handed down to our ancient priestesses by the gods. Gods who visited our world long ago. The Arks were not only built with the science of the gods, but in their image as well. But only one who is of the bloodline can pilot the Arks. That someone is you. But my mother, what happened to her? Building the Arks took all the strength she had. The night she finished, she went to sleep and never woke up. Somehow, 
She must have sensed what was going to happen, because she hid you away before she returned home. You were placed with many other children in hibernation pods, all hidden during the Great War. What's this about another Ark, anyway? Your mother supervised the construction of both Ladark and York, except York was kept hidden from the Storians during the Great War. Amaranth, with York, you can carry the rest of our people to a new world. And what about all the people here in Ladark, the Storians? Like it or not, they're my people too. Yeah, and those people have attacked and enslaved us for centuries. Rogan life isn't black and white, it's gray and it's messy and it's complicated. Huh? It's us, it's us. Hey, what took you guys so long? Have you heard the news? She's... You're here. Uh, um, there's a gathering at the court tomorrow. A trial and an execution. It's the best time to mobilize our forces for an escape. A trial and an execution? Who? The commander of the Storian forces. That Jalik guy. That Jalik guy is my father! We just told you he's not your father! And neither are you! Now, you want me to help you? You help me first. and all await the words of Her Imperial Majesty, Empress Cathabel. My loyal subjects of the Dark, for decades, our patience within this Ark has been matched only by our solidarity. No matter what forces have ravaged our world, we have stood strong. And yet, there are those who seek to undermine those efforts through treachery and deceit. We haven't got much time. Thanks for the update. We've got guys stationed all throughout the crowd. At the signal, they're gonna create a diversion and then get up to the scaffold. Are you insane? Do you see how many guards and soldiers are here? They'll kill you. Then my father. No way. It's our only shot. <clears throat> Where do you think you're going? If they want me so bad, we'll have to play by my rules. So do you, Rogan. Has a verdict been reached? It has, Your Highness. And the commander has been found guilty on all counts of treason. The sentence? Immediate execution. <laughs> You can't do this, Amaranth. Watch me. You're a Sevian. You belong in York. I care about you, Rogan. And I care about the Sevians as much as I do the Storians. But he's my father. I'm not gonna watch him be killed. Does the accused have any last words of regret or contempt? Commander. Amaranth, you must know that you're right. 
You are important to us, much more important than any issue of legality. But we must act quickly. Do it. Release Commander Jalik. Emerald, this isn't how it's supposed to happen. You don't know what he's capable of. Dad, I can do this. Nothing's gonna happen to me. They wouldn't dare now that they know who I am. There is so much I need to tell you. Everything, really. But not now. Not like this. I love you. Bear Amanda! Uh. Screw with me, and I swear the Ark will stand still forever! You show more loyalty to your people than your father ever did. Shut up, freak! Let's go. What the hell are you doing? You. How could you let her do this? Look, she's in great danger, and there's still time. But we've got to get out of here first. I mean it, Bear Amanda. I'll do this one test. But if you want me to actually pilot this thing... Excuse me for a moment, Amrit. Close off all possible entrances to the core. Begin killing slaves until the rebels are found. Oh, and kill the commander and me. No! Don't me! Stop right there, Commander Jalik! How many of your people you have here? Not enough. Wait a sec. Amiel. Amiel is in the core. Amiel has been found, and she's been taken inside the core. Amiel's in the core? It's true. I know because I took her there. The Holy Lady sleeps within the core. right away. What, what, has she fainted? No, it's merely soporific. It'll wear off soon. I want her to be awake when I... You're not gonna kill her. You're a smart woman, Dr. Anders. You figure it out. off into the interior. It should take us... There they are! Uh.
Bring the girl over here. Wait! Fair Amanda, you can't. Please don't do this. This girl is the only chance we have for ever getting Ladark to move. After all these years, the one we've been waiting for is here. Oh, I'm afraid you just don't get it yet. I find it hugely disconcerting how quickly you've discarded that healthy skepticism, Dr. Amnes. With all the miracles I've recently witnessed, how can I still be a skeptic? How, how can any of us? Dr. Anders, what do you think will happen when Amaranth is able to control the Ark? We'll all leave this place together. And then her name shall be remembered as the savior of Ladark. Amaranth, she who appeared to deliver the Storian people out of the darkness. As it should be. The power is hers, it's within her! <gasps> Maybe, but soon, it will be within me. Dr. Anders, get away from him! I'd listen to your assistant. I think he has a crush on you. You're insane there, Amanda. I promise you, I will withhold the support of my staff. You need my expertise to deal with these systems. <sighs> You there. Higgins, was it? You know how to operate the system, correct? I... I... I, I well, that's somewhat. I... Good answer. Uh -oh! Dr. Anders... I... I didn't... Please, don't. Scientist next to Anders, we still need him. the administrator. You want to get the job done? You got to do it yourself in these situations. Thanks for the advice, Jalik. Here's the deal. You let her go, I let you live. Banished to the wasteland. Really? You promise? It's over, Commander. It's my moment now. But then you aren't the Commander anymore, are you? You're just a concerned father who's about to watch his daughter die. No! Hold your fire! I've seen him use these things before. If you kill him now, there's no telling what'll happen.
up. Amaranth, please wake up. Please, you have to wake up. Amaranth, are you okay? Yes. Come on, we've got to get you out of here. There's probably more soldiers on the way. Come on, Amaranth. Hurry! We gotta move! Wait! I know her! Jalik! I... Come on, Piriel. Is she? She's fine, but we gotta go. We don't want to be here much longer. What's happening? One drop of blood. Hold on! You have to leave Ladark! It's not stable! Go! about another Ark. The Ark of York. That's where she belongs. What are you two? Well, then get these pods programmed for wherever it is the three of you are going. Make that the two of you. I won't abandon you again. Get out of here. I can't protect you anymore. I can't leave without you. You have to. Look, Emerith. Your life was... It was never mine to decide. We've got to stay and try to shut the dark down before the whole city collapses. Jalik, come on. You belong with Amarin. Both of you. No, I've served the story and people as commander for too long. I can't just leave them to die. I can't. But no. If something happens, you'll look after her, won't you? As much as she'll let me.
We're not heading back to the core, are we? I don't know. Wait. Hello? Is anybody there? Do you read me? Is anybody there? Jellic! The whole city's gone berserk. Can you stop it? No! Jellic, look! Way to shut it down. Yes, but you have to get your head in. City, fine, huh? Console, cranial control. This is this is Jellic, I heard him say cranial control. I saw that on the schematics. Let's go. There's no time for introductions. We've got to get to the core. It's coming. What's coming? The dark. What? Thank you, Amorant. Thank you for your great sacrifice. Your mother would have been proud. Great sacrifice? You mean, piloting the Ark? There's more to this, isn't there? You must merge with the core of York. Merge your spirit and your consciousness. This is the burden of the bloodline. The dark is coming, and it will destroy us all, and everyone inside as well. The Sevians, the Storians. You can save all of us. There has to be another way. Maybe we could... Rogan! It's no use. It's too late. Amaranth! I... I... Shut down the power grid? No. They're on separate systems. What's going on? You understand? 
this thing? Yes, but Bear Amanda must have changed the codes. Jalik, look. Hold on, baby girl. there. Got it! The signal. It's totally distorted. I can't get through to the core! What are we gonna do? The whole city pod's about to come loose. <laughs>
My people had always hoped that one day York would carry us to a new world. We never thought it would save the Storians as well. Actually, that's not true. York didn't save them. Amaranth did. She saved all of us. The stories say that Elcyon was like this once, before the wars. It's hard to imagine, though. Hard to imagine anything other than the wastelands or life inside the Arcs, but it doesn't matter, I guess. It's all gone now. I know that this will be a good home for us. For all of us. The Sevians and the Storians. We're learning to live together, but it hasn't been easy so far. I just wish Amaranth were here to help bridge the gaps. We could learn so much from her. Then again, we already have. It's a cold one tonight Sleeping with reality Looking through the glass sky Through the cracks For the light I heard shines Somewhere past these urban fires so-called life is not the one I've got to find a way and make it and make it you are the reason why shadow pieces of glass sky I'm feeling like rain for the first time did you know you got me to an end you wrote just how this should be did you know how much this has changed the way I am? I'm looking past the glass sky for the chance for those moments passing by like ones with her and I. And now this world, my so-called. Start to slip away The memories haven't changed Your face, she said You do not choose the place Forever Still I'll try to taste you This book of names plain Afraid to lose your pain With you I miss 